Hey everyone, Bricks with Bex here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Gun Goose Gambit from Mega Constructs. This is a very interesting set because it's the, it's the third iteration of the four figure, one vehicle, $15 price point sets. Without further ado, let's get into it. First, we're going to take a look at the Gun Goose. So, the Gun Goose is similar in design to the Mongoose, but uses the colors of the Razorback Blitz. Um, it uses the same suspension system as the Mongoose, where you can turn it. Oh. And it's very nice with the turrets up front, and I like how they use a little more black on this one. Here you can see the rear seat. Here's the front seat. You can see two figures on here. I like how they use red for the ball joints here, so it looks a little more realistic for suspension. Overall, I think it's very great. Now we'll take a look at the figures included in this set, starting off with that Jackal Sniper. The Jackal Sniper is no doubt the most anticipated figure in this set. With a great new helmet mold and extra shoulder armor, it makes for a good look accurate to the game. My favorite parts about this figure are the frills on the top, the new mold and mask, although I wish it did have some printed eyes, and the added shoulder pads and shoulder blades. One interesting thing that I found is that on his weapon, it is different to the standard um, carbine, Covenant carbine, it is missing the piece on the bottom, which is quite interesting, and I believe they did that so they could allow more articulation. Next up is the Brute Warrior. This is quite a good army building figure, accurate to the standard design for the Brutes in Halo Infinite. It uses the, um, the rubber piece for the groin, which does make it sometimes difficult to move around the legs, and they also will fall off sometimes. The head he uses underneath is the Craig molded helmet, and he looks quite good next to the one from the, the Brute Warrior from the Banished Garrison pack. Another figure who looks great with the Brute Warrior from the Banished Garrison pack is this Brute Captain. Now this is the figure I was most hyped for in this set because I love the design of the Brute Captain in Halo Infinite. And I believe that Mega Constructs had captured it very well in this set. He comes with a, um, a shock rifle, and I did forget to mention that the, the Brute Warrior in this set came with a mangler. He uses this nice red armor, and he has the Craig face underneath. The final figure in this set is the UNSC Marine using the ODST helmet. I think he looks very good, although he's not accurate to anything in the game. Um, I do really like his rear suit with that nice metallic silver, and he has a wonderful um, commando rifle in this dark gray. He looks very good with the Spartan and the Marine from the Banished Garrison pack, like most figures in this set do, and I think you, if you're going to get one of those sets, you should get the other one. Something you might consider doing with this marine is swapping his head and shoulders out so you can make one that looks a lot like the marine from the Banished Garrison pack. I did this with both of mine, and I think it looks very great. I think this set is a must-have for any Halo Mega Constructs collector. And if you're going to buy this set, you should also buy the Banished Garrison pack, because most of the figures in this set look very great with that set. Anyways, that's it for me, and subscribe, because I said so.